If you're a DBA or a developer that's working in a DevOps style environment, one of the challenges is when you're building deployment scripts for releases of your application, is working out whether a deployment script has completed without error. Now, you might be thinking that's a simple thing, but in reality, there are often errors that come into our deployment scripts that are safe to ignore. And the problem is, well, if I've got a, a deployment log file which has 25 errors in it, which ones are safe to ignore, which ones are not, which ones indicate something went drastically wrong. One of the challenges there is often our scripts will do some sort of cleanup before they proceed. In this case, I'm trying to drop a table, but obviously I don't expect that table to exist. I actually want to make sure it's gone in case I rerun this script, and then I want to go ahead and create the table. But that gives me a table of view does not exist error in my log file that I now have to go through and make sure that that was a correct response. In the past, I might need to wrap that in a peel SQL block to then grab the exception and ignore it. But just a lot of fiddling around just because I wanted to drop a table that I don't expect to exist anyway. In 23C, we've now handled that with the if exists extension. I can now do drop table if exists. And what that means is if the table does not exist, I'll still get a successful table dropped and no error messages. If the table did exist, but I could not drop it for some reason, for example, it had a reference integrity constraint, then I would get the normal errors and I could be able to act on that once I see it in my installation log. Similarly, I may have a script that creates a table, a table here called T, but that might be a script they want to rerun multiple times as part of say continuous integration. What I don't want to do is have to create that table every time or deal with the fact that the table already exists and get an error message in my log file. So the same thing applies to create table. I can now do create table if exists and I'll get a table created message even if the table was pre-existing. One thing I wanna stress is this is not some sort of magical uh, table morphing technology. I've created a table here with a column called X and now if I go ahead and run create table if exists with X and Y, it's not like the database goes, ah, yes, you've made a slight multiplication here. I'll do the appropriate alter commands. It simply says, yes, the table was created, but if I go describe the table, it still says it's just the one column called X. The create table if exists is purely an existence check only, not some sort of mechanism to evolve your table structures throughout the course of installation.